I don't know. But, you know, we, we know who which characters they're going. We got the Duck Hunt and we got the Terry, one of Vivi's many characters. Fawn, um, mostly sticking to the Duck Hunt. But we're getting right into things. Quick little back here, quick little <laughs> double back here action. Now, this is once again, like, Terry trying to invade Duck Hunt space, trying to not let Duck Hunt set anything up. But Fawn's playing pretty aggressive, like, Honestly, he's uh, closing the space in more hey. than Vivi is in there today. Yeah, I feel like uh, incredible, but uh, <laughs> crack shooting Dakans, through the clay uh, pigeon. Wow. Dakans, uh, projectiles will helping in the matchup. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you ever have thought that? <laughs> yeah, That's just the zone break. Yeah. We have zone breaker versus projectile, like not spammer, but projectile user setup. I mean, uh, magician, tactician, magician, magician. Yeah, it's kind of like bootleg Kazuya versus uh, Robin, <laughs> but Robin's yeah. a dog and Kazuya is now uh, Terry uh, Boogers. Now has a cool hat. Yeah, cool hat, blonde hair. He's fresh now, but Kazuya had the suit on, so I'll give it to him. Uh, wow, yeah. parrying the explosion, <laughs> a little flex right there. I like it, Vivi. Oh, the dash the attack. Late dash. That, that was, was such a great enough. linger, but yeah, not enough. And we're basically sitting at even. Terry's got some weight, so that up air won't do it. Gotta be careful for those can setups. Terry's yeah. moves just have so much lag on Fawn's shield. It's hard for Vivi to, or for Fawn to retaliate after like a burn knuckle or a power geyser. But the can getting yeah. the stop right there. The can is just a budget snake grenade. That mm. might also kill. A budget snake grenade that, that could just like sit right on top of Fawn for so long. Uh, just like a threat. Ooh. You have to play around it well, or else uh, you're losing. Yeah. That, that, that exactly. can't revolve, of course, around all these projectiles, but mm -hmm. most importantly, the can. around the can. The can is so important. That's the game set. The can really helps you, like, not... Yeah, see, it just breaks you out of these <laughs> advantage states from other characters. If you're not frame perfect or if you don't expect the can to come out, you're just not going to be able to get your combos. You can't be in lag near a can, mm -hmm. or else the can is going to punish you. Yeah, exactly. And so that's why we've seen like Fawn sit on top of the can sometimes with shields. Great clay pigeon, almost comboing into the can. That would have been really cool to see right there. Gunman. Yeah. We've seen a lot of like jump, beer versus gunman. That's like a little cool like duck hunt movement thing. Comboing into the can. No setups, but just the can looming around there is really scary. I think duck hunts do very often. Grabbing you and throwing you into a flying can. <laughs> yeah, seen it so many times, but oh yeah, it's just it's just like you know the natural duck hunt thing. The can sniping that directional air dodge in. That was a great like cover coverage option, and he didn't even have to commit to going off, or they didn't have to commit to going off stage. So it was even better. Absolutely, you are never safe. The can is coming for you. Mm -hmm. And when you have the fastest gunman lined up too, Fawn doesn't have anything to worry about. Like. He, he's just solid. Double clay. They're just uh, double clay pigeon. The can, oh, just slightly hitting it with the first hit of up air. That was a great like setup. I can't. I've never seen that before. Gunman. Wow. Fawn's always had the fastest gunman ready at like the most oh, perfect yeah. times. Little DBZ right there. VB's going to have to oh, get this happy. stop, and, and that yeah. dash shot will seal it out. They're even now. You never know. <laughs> I would say they're even. Just the KO they're potential even. from Terry. One, two combos into a, the go meter. Yeah, a power geyser, a Buster Wolf. Duck Hunt has to find one of those setups. But there you go. Just a gunman, though. You know, at that percent, it's kind uh -huh. of harder to combo into your like lower percent setup. So it was. It's that's the problem. If you don't get the kill at those earlier percents, then like the the higher the percents go, it's just gonna be more difficult yeah, yeah. for you. Unless you get that raw gunman kill. Catching Vivi dropping shield. Hmm. All right. So. so we have a town and city strike and a um, Smashville strike. Oh, we're going FD. F wow. D, uh, That's a, this could go one of two ways. I feel like one person is going to have yeah. the momentum. They're going to take the first Absolutely. stock and they're just going to snowball the Both rest of the game. characters enjoy the play. They definitely have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If Fawn gets the first stock, I'm sure they're just going to play more passive. They yeah, yeah. Get, build the extra credit. If, Ter if Vivi gets the first stock, just press more buttons, mash on Duck on Shield, just, you know, or, or get, like, you know, a go meter, Sorry. potentially power geyser, Buster Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, having no platforms, 
limits the ways you can go around. Mm. Oh, oh my god. Double, Double spike by Fawn. Amazing. Catching Vivi, not pressing a button from the start of that like, mm -hmm. advantage state that he got. So that's what really led to that double downer right there. And like I said, Fawn is just snowballing Vivi right mm. now. They are kind of desperate. And it seems like even those parries, it's not going to work against that Clay Pigeon. That mo oh, wow. The burn knuckle so close to connecting off stage. Oh. Play. But... Terry's able to get that uh, rising tackle co confirmation, and you know Terry kills consistently at those percents. Oh yeah! So that was great. Not letting him take that second stock, that snowball momentum with it. But yeah, we can see that Dakant is a character that strives to trade. Mm. Yeah, having yeah. both players exploded by the can. You said like budget uh, snake in a way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially with that can. Mm -hmm. The gunman offers, they offer like a different variety of just like pressure. Ooh. That first hit up air into the can is so like, Wonderful. it sets up the can like, in a, like, it just stalls there for a second. It's perfect for catching like Terry's recovery. They know what they're doing. Uh, for sure. Oh, unfortunate, not going to be able to come back uh -huh. from that. Missed the ledge. Honestly, Fawn's pressure on Vivi, it's clear that Fawn understands, um, like they've they played like, many times before. Mm -hmm. These are two like veterans. They understand how they play. They understand what combos to do on each other, when to wait, when to push. Absolutely. Oh, catching that jump, but not getting that burn knuckle. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. At this point, Vivi's barely missing that falling Terry. Oh. Ooh, that Terry on the power dunk just gives Fawn that extra bit of space and time to like react to another option or scare Vivi into not pressing another button. Those little things add up and they matter. Absolutely. Just seems like Vivi can't get those solid big hits to end this stock. Mm -hmm. They've been getting the Nair train, the dash attack, but barely yeah. not killing. But now the go is here. Go is here. He could get get him, uh, get Balm with the power geyser, potential Absolutely. Buster Wolf or a back air out yeah, of nowhere, really. Too. Catching that jump, catching Fawn. Jumping a little too quickly off the ledge. We haven't really seen that, but, you know. And once again, even they're game. even. <laughs> even game. You never know. It's just, we haven't seen Vivi land those, that the Nair train or any, like, really solid Terry combos. We've just seen those, like, bits and pieces. Yes, they have to be more patient with the can because it just breaks the amount of disadvantage so quickly. And that can's not gonna it's do not it not at 191. Such a still going strong. That back throw, luckily, Duck Hunt doesn't really have any kill throws, so BB mm -hmm. can sit in shield and wait. But a great catch with the oh. down tilt. How will you push it? Oh, dude. oh so unfortunate. It. Hitting him Ooh. with the aerial Buster Wolf, and uh, if BB was so uh -oh. close to catching Absolutely. Fawn with that Buster Wolf, about to clutch it. I don't know if that would have necessarily gotten. It was Duck Hunt at 40%, but an offstage situation and a power geyser at ledge, you would have been done. That was yeah. so close. Great effort from VV, though. Incredibly close. So, who's up next? It seems that we have oh, Noku versus John Numbers. So, uh -huh. I haven't seen Noku play, but I believe they are a Pokemon trainer player. And John okay. Numbers well. is the Trident, tried and true um, Wii Fit Wait, trainer okay. player that's, you know, been around no the block one. for quite a while. Yeah, huh? Quite a while. <sighs> it's, I won. We're probably going to see another, you know, ledge heavy set, just like mm -hmm. with Obwon. Yeah. Wii Fit trainer has a nasty ledge game, both on the defensive and the offensive side. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. That's what uh, volleyball.